everybody, and welcome back. I'm on Dead HQ Gamer, and today we got something special going on for my channel. It's not just about Black Ops 3 Zombies, it's about World War II preparation for the whole entire game. As of, we are only 14 hours um, away from the release of World War II here in my hometown. Um, it's supposed to be due to release at 11 o'clock on tomorrow night. So we are 14 hours away. Which is going to be legitly awesome. I cannot wait for the game. For me to play the game Friday and enjoy it. Because I'm going to download it Friday morning. Assuming I can still get the game. Able to pay for it here. That we will be playing that. But there's something else I want to talk about, which is very interesting. There is no talk of any supply drops in World War II. Or any, like, weapon master or weapon quarter master for weapons to get rare weapons or anything. And yet, if I can, I would like to... No, I'd like to open this. Okay, so they are basically saying... Is this it? So they're saying last call pre order World War II. Here it is right now. Call of Duty returns to World War II November 3rd with a ton of extras from people that have pre ordered the game. This is what you're going to get when you pre order the game. This is it. Today is the final day to pre order it, guys. If you do not pre order it after today, I think it's about over with. You will no longer be able to pre-order and get these bonuses. All pre-order orders will receive, okay, 1,100 COD points. Okay, hang on a second. 1,100 COD points. For hang on. So we all know that COD points could be used for three things. I'm sorry I'm kind of yelling into the mic and my voice is kind of low tonight. We all know there's only really three true things we can use COD points for. One's for supply drops. Opening up supply drops and receiving everything we can possibly receive. Two is to, is to um, use weapon upgrades or buying weapons or buying gear. Or three buying more supply drops. So really there's only two things we could be using COD points for. So with that being said, that is a huge giveaway that there may be some supply drops able to access for World War II. Okay. Now, that's the first thing we're going to talk about. And a permanent weapon unlock. Four hours of double XP. So we get a permanent weapon lock. Whatever we want to do, we choose a weapon. And we get to keep it permanently for the game. Permanent weapon unlock. Never goes away. Never gets taken away. So, four hours of double XP. Alright. The division packs. Where those are, division packs. I'm not sure what they are. They must be supply drop deals. And Nazi zombies. Hang on. Weapons camos. Weapon camos. Right there, guys, tells you that we're going to have camos for guns. Clearly, at least in the zombie part. We don't know about multiplayer yet. We do not know if there will be camos for the guns in multiplayer. But there will be weapon camos. And it says, don't miss out on the bonuses that come with pre-ordering Call of Duty World War II. So we know for a fact that we're getting 1,100 COD points, which is usually used for gear or supply drops so there's the two hints that we may be having supply drops in World War 2 maybe legendary, rare something like that Okay, 4 hours of double XP division packs and zombie camo weapon camos so this is going to be kind of interesting to see what all we get Okay. with that being said we're going to jump into some zombies here I'm going to do just a private game myself 
And there's going to be another map I want to work on is... <sighs> I haven't done this one in a long time, Shane and I. I apparently don't know everything about this map. I've never even really played it much. So we're going to go ahead and do it. But this uh, video is also to thank all my reaching my goal for the end of this year. I asked towards July if I could receive 40 subscribers before the year is up. Okay. And we managed to do that. We managed to get 40 subscribers from my channel. And uh, I'd like to thank all you guys for doing that. And same with me on every video I've made. And supporting my channel. And stuff like that. But... They just gave away three huge deals about Call of Duty pre-ordering and what we can get for pre-ordering. Those COD points, however, kind of gets me wondering if we're going to have supply drops or not to actually open up and use. So, there will be weapon camos. They have just now announced that. So, we will have weapon camos in the game. And I cannot wait to unlock them all. I'm still unlocking weapon camos from Black Ops 3. Monkey! This is a Can I movie. shoot it? Oh, oh shit! You, turn on the power. you can't shoot a monkey. Oh, it's a zombie monkey. Alright. But, um, there's definitely, you know, weapon camos. And I'm still working on unlocking all of them from Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare and Rance Warfare. I've actually almost now without the sufficient uh, funds, I cannot completed the Black Ops dead. 3 Infinite Warfare camos. So, they're not easy to complete because there's a lot of requirements to do for them and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> like I said, guys, I'm not going to be able to eat the game tomorrow night. I'm not going to be able to, well, I'm going to be able to at least pay for it, but I'm not going to be able to get the game and stand in line and get it early because i got to be at the fire department tomorrow. Uh, training comes first before anything else. Trust me, I would love to be at GameStop and waiting and participating in the tournaments and stuff and waiting for that uh, last second to 11 o'clock at night to get the game. But as of, you know, now, uh, the fire station is a little bit more important. It's basically my career online if I don't go. I mean, there's not much, it's not a requirement for me to go. But it is, uh, it is something that I think is more important than just waiting for a game. And I've been waiting for this game for a very long time. I'm excited for it to be coming out tomorrow. And like I said, we're 14 hours away from the release of Call of Duty World War II. I'm about as hyped up as you can get right now for World War II. Um, I have a lot going for this game. I hope it's going to be really good like the beta was. I hope they haven't changed it too much. Uh, and the fact that they're giving us 1,200 COD points just to use in the game tells us that I mean, there may be supply drops for the game itself. So, I cannot wait to go around. Start shooting, you know, a bunch of players and start owning the game like it should be. That was a real gory looking zombie. He didn't even look all that dead. He looks more human than dead. Okay. But I cannot wait for, you know, that to be happening. I can't wait to get into the multiplayer, get into zombies, play zombies with my dad. Him and I are going to experience it together for the first time. We're going to actually live stream Well, we're not going to live stream it for the first time, but we will experience it. We will play it offhand so that we don't get so, so we're not so lost on it. And if you cannot possibly wait any longer to view what the zombies are going to look like in the game, I have a channel description down below, and it has um, a guy who has recently acquired. Oh God, there's a monkey. That's scary. I have acquired a uh, down the channel below. I have um, acquired uh, the guy's name in his video and what's called. It's 27 minutes long. It's about the new zombies. It's gameplay footage of the new zombies. So, I'm gonna die here because I'm not sure who just hit me. What the hell? Alright, that was that zombie right there. But, um, 
If you cannot possibly wait to see what the zombies look like in World War II, then I will uh, give you guys a chance to uh, go in and uh, you can view that video for yourself. It's Nazi Zombie Gameplay by E3 Cheviet. He had it up before anybody could. I and mean, the rumor is he actually beat the first Easter egg of the game. And everybody's so angry about it, but he had the opportunity. He probably had an early copy of it. And he didn't mean, I'm pretty sure in his heart, that he did not mean to piss anybody off or get him angry about the gameplay. He just kind of wanted to show it off a little bit. And I understand that. And I want, you know, I'd probably do the same thing too if I had the game myself early. I would be wanting to show it off to the people and telling them and showing them how it's doing so. So. I have the utmost respect for him, and I don't think he did anything wrong by doing that. I do think he could have possibly waited until the day of the launch, instead of doing it a couple days early. That would have been more appropriate. Um, but he decided to go ahead a week before the launch, upload it, and see what people think of these new zombies. And I personally think this is scary as hell. And they're going to be really hard. I have one friend that I talked to today at Walmart. He works at my Walmart up here, up the road from me. And he said he pre ordered a game. He's waiting for the zombies. And uh, he cannot wait for this game to come out. He's one of the Call of Duty fan favorites of my channel. So, him and I have been buddies since way back when. We pretty much. we. I wish we could. Uh, we could, he could bring him on his PlayStation 4 over and we could just ch jam it out, but, you know, he's got work and uh, I got things to do, so, you know, it'd be kind of cool if he came over and we could jam it out together in Call of Duty and have a good time, maybe live stream together, but, oh, I'm dead, I'm so dead. Where did my machine gun pistol? Machine, machine gun pistol go. Gun or knife. Just, just, oh, monkey. Like I said, guys, last night, I hope you guys had a wonderful... What the hell are these things doing? I hope you guys had a wonderful Halloween, I think. I hope everybody was safe last night and they had a good time. Um, we did a Halloween special, so... The more I kill, the more ammo I need. We need to get out of here. Okay. That's a fact. We need to get our ass out of here. Go over to that mystery box, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, but the mystery box ain't there. Son of a bitch. Well, I hate it when it does that. We're so close. It's probably down here and you need to go in there. Most likely. So we're going to go ahead and open up this area. We're going to go. And what I know, the mystery box. That must be a teleportation device. Let's go ahead and open up this mystery box. Okay. This works too. I'm not sure. There's a door right there. Yeah, I don't you? think they can get through that, but we can't open it. By the might of the Boom. <laughs> we... well, this is just leading to the catacombs. I have no idea what's down here, because I've personally never been down here. That's definitely a... You'll turn the power on to open up the mines there, but there's an AK. That's nice. It costs money to move. Power around it is around here somewhere. This is creepy, boys. I've never officially really gotten into this map and started playing it, so. Uh, got the, what looks like to be the AK-47 or the AK-74. That's basically AK-47. The original AK-47. That's Black Ops 3 version of AK. More like the Volk off of Infinite Warfare. Back to the mystery box. Get something good here. That, I hate that gun. I will never use that gun. That's a bazooka. Come on, we can do better than that, right? I hope so. Shit. I may be in slightly bit of trouble here, ladies and gentlemen. Just slightly. What the fuck? 
that hurt. We're down. Alright. Um. That was painful to watch. We got close to the mystery box. I'm gonna have to spend more time with this map to understand it all, so forgive me, but that was the worst map I've ever done before. But no, um, for the past couple weeks I've been preparing myself for this new game. Uh, now that we've gotten word that well, it looks like we may have supply drops, they're just, it's kind of weird, it would be kind of weird not to have supply drops. If they're giving us 1,100, no, 1,700 COD points, then why the hell wouldn't there be supply drops? What would we be using the COD points for? Unlock weapons or what? That's kind of, usually 90% of the time the COD points you use in Call of Duty are all for with supply drops. So, that being said, I strongly think we're going to have some supply drops happening in World War II. Now, what's in them we won't know until we open one we won't know what kind of weapons will they have the same supply drop system as infinite warfare where you had multiple different var variations of weapons like a mark one mark two or a legendary version of that or a more powerful version of that we don't know all we know is that there's going to be cod points given to us so there's, and they're saying there's weapon camos, so the only other way I think you can get weapon camos besides earning them would be getting them from a supply drop. So, that being said, I do think we're going to have a supply drop in World War II. An option to open up supply drops and stuff. But, in beta, that was not a chance. All they had for beta was multiplayer, so we don't know. Those COD points could be used to unlock weapons. I'm not sure. I have most of the weapons already unlocked, unless they added more, which there's no word of them adding more weapons than what we already had seen in the beta. Um, but the only weapons I don't have right now, I think it's the MP40 and the Thompson machine gun. And the Thompson machine gun is going to be the one I unlocked because it was a god gun in the beta. Like, anybody that had the Thompson machine gun in the beta was legitly owning the game. They were literally either first or second place. And everybody hated it. I was in one server one time in the beta. I think it was one of my last games I did for the beta. And, um, this person unlocked the Thompson. They released it, like, two days before the beta was up. And, um, they released it to Thompson. And, and this person I had it, and he was just owning everybody. We stood no chance. Snipers couldn't even kill them. And we had some damn good snipers, including myself, in that game trying to knock him out. Everybody was trying to go against him. I mean, even his own team hated it because he would not let anybody have any fun in that match, get any points or any kills at all. He'd be hogging them his whole self. And that's one of the reasons I don't want to get that gun because apparently it's so good that it has such an unfair advantage against our players. And for all you new players, I feel sorry for you because you came across me in Call of Duty World War II and I had that Thompson out, you better just try to hide because I will be unforgiving in that game. The whole point of this game was in the trailers, they said so you could overpower your players. Overpower players, well, that's what they said in the trailers, so that's what I plan on doing is overpowering people. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but if I don't try my hardest and damnedest in that game to do my best, then I will legitly get owned by somebody better than me, and they're going to make sure I know it. They're going to make sure that I know that they're better than me in some way or fashion, and um, I cannot allow it to happen in World War II. I am going to be the hardest player I can be in that game. I'm going to show no mercy towards my enemies in that game. I will legitly be a hard ass in that game. So, if you're on the enemy side and you're playing against me, then just don't, just exit the server and go join something else. Go join another server because, or go join another game mode because 90% of the time I'm going to be playing war operations 
and a little bit of team deathmatch and mosh pits, but you come across my name in the World War II servers, just... I feel sorry for you. That's all I'm gonna say. You know, because I'm not gonna go easy. Even if you are a level one person and you just bought the game and you know you didn't pre-order any of it and then play the beta, I'm not going to go easy on you. I will go as hard as I can go so you guys can get ready for the game itself. So you guys will know how hard it is to play a game. It's not that hard. And I'm gonna tell you that from experience right now playing the beta. Killing people in that game is not hard at all. It's easy, it's common sense. You just gotta do your normal tactics of Call of Duty. Sniping is the easiest, because all you have to do is sit back in the window and wait for somebody to just come across your crosshairs, and then you pretty much, even in the operations, war operations there, with that bridge zeal, 90% of the players are going to try to capture and build that bridge. And it's just so satisfying as a sniper to sit back in that window and just start taking them out as they try to reach the bridge. They don't even really pay attention to the sniper in the window. They're more focused on... They're, um, they're more focused on trying to achieve that objective and complete that objective and worrying about the sniper that's taken out of their team. And the only time they're worried about that is when they have another sniper. And then that sniper will start to worry about the sniper across the map and be like, okay, sniper v sniper. You know, and sometimes there are no snipers on the other side of the map. Our team doesn't have snipers, and they're just too dumb to realize that, so they're just gonna go for the objective. And it's so fast, satisfying, and easy to use those snipers in World War II. And it's not like this futuristic shit where you have to jump up in there to get a kill, or you have to jump up in there to avoid. gonna tell you guys the ciphering is being a cipher in World War Two is super easy. No, oh, you will not do that to me. Okay, so anyways, guys, like I was saying, my dad was on the phone, that's why I was being quiet for a second. Um, there is going, I'm going to play like, no, I never played before in Call of Duty. Um, I'm going to play my heart so loud into that new game. And um, I'm going to just be as hard as I can on everybody. I'm not, I'm, the only time I'm going to not be hard is when I'm working with my teammates and trying to achieve the objective everything else. So if you're going against me, I am sorry to say that I will be legitly a hard ass on you. And it's just the way it is. You know, I'm pretty sure everybody else will be doing the same thing. I'm trying to get that max level achieved as quickly as possible so they don't have to worry about unlocking anything. You get all the camos for the weapons as fast as possible. You know, I'm sure everybody's going to be trying to achieve the max level for the game. And we don't know what that is yet. So far in the beta, the max level was 35. I made it to level 30, I think, if I remember correctly. That should stay in to Call of Duty World War II. Um, I hope that they have not taken that away from the account I created in World War II. I legitly hope that I get to the PS4 remember everything that I had done in the beta. I don't know how betas work because I've never played one before until recently with World War II. And it was the best beta I've ever played in my life. I would like to continue to pre-order games and get betas and stuff. But it costs money to pre-order games. And you have to pay it off or else there's going to be consequences. So I am thankful that my dad will be helping me pay my game off. Because I can't do it all. Um, I've been paying a lot of it off recently. 
but I just don't have the extra money on hand to afford all of it, so he's being thankful, and um, I will cherish every time he, oh, I will cherish every moment we have together, because as of November 20th, he'll be officially moving away from this place and starting a new life with his lovely girlfriend. And um, I hope they have the best times together. He's deserved it. He's 50 years old. He deserves a better life than what I can provide here for him. So, um, and I uh, hope we get to play and do a live stream of zombies a couple times before, you know, we leave too, so. Alright, we got a problem here. This is not good. Okay, okay. open, open! No! Open! Run! He's gonna eat me. I had to unfortunately open that gate, which is not cool. But I got my double points reward, so that's good. Pack a punch should be up here. I think it is. I don't. I'm not, I'm not seeing it. Oh, there's another. I have no idea what this is. Pack a. Whoa! What? This hit me there. What is very interesting though, if I remember watching that zombie video, if I'm remembering correctly, I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch it again. Just because I want to make sure that I'm correct about this. Hang on, we'll get to over there in a second when I complete this round. I think, if I remember correctly, um. This machine is one of the machines you can get to earn stuff. I'm not sure about that, but we will check that out in a second. Whoa, whoa. Right here. This is pack a, I'm not sure what I did. What is this? Pack of Coke, so I'm not sure what the hell that just did, but. I'm not sure if it upgrades your weapon damage or not, but. Some type of perk. But there are ways in zombies in World War II to earn perks. Unfortunately, it does not look like there is a mystery box for that game. So, unless if it was not in the gameplay there early offline mode. Then they have not quite added it yet. I think I just screwed myself on opening shit up though here. I don't know. What round is this? Six? We may be able to survive this. We might. If I don't open that up, if I'm not forced to open that up, we're good to go. The only bad thing about this room can get pretty crowded with zombies out there a short while. Me and my dad have figured that one out. <laughs> That's happened numerous times where we've gotten cornered. The airport one, the original one we played with the mystery box, always in the back room. Um, we always end up getting stuck up here with a bunch of zombies eating us live. Every time. Yeah, I, I got, like I said, uh, my uh, control needs to be charged. It's not battery life. I'm pretty sure within the next five minutes it's going to actually go out. So. This half hour will end the charge and we can play game. Alright. Oh, he, oh, we got a crawling motherfucker. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, you can do it, you sorry, sad fuck. Alright, he's down. <laughs> That's a fun thing. And my dad and I, when we're playing zombies together, we can make it just the funnest of times. The whole entire zombie army could be coming down upon us. And we would be just sniping each other. Like, just knifing the shit out of each other, not care of the world. Usually normal people are like... Normal people are like, oh, it's in the times, we need to stick together, we need to, you know, but... Um... I would legitly drop everything and go to that event tomorrow at GameStop. But I don't think there's any way I can get out and go into the fire department tomorrow. And I get well unless I find out it's a CMS and maybe there's a possibility I might not have to go. 
But that would be the only way for me not to go to the fire department tomorrow. And if it's EMS, I, I think it is. I'm going to text Zane, one of my firefighter buddies that knows a lot more than I do about what's going on tonight. So if it's anything important, then uh, I will have to be there. But if it's not, on all chances, it's not important, then I'll probably be able to get the game tomorrow night around 11 then. Because um, I'm just, this EMS, I'm not there for EMS, I'm there for fire and fire only. They have a bunch of EMS nights and fire nights, and depending on what they got going, um, if I, you know, don't think I'm needed there, then uh, I will definitely stay at GameStop tomorrow night and wait it out for World War Two. So... We'll see, like I said, yeah, I think the fire department's a little bit more important than Call of Duty World War II at this time, but if there's nothing going on really important tomorrow, then I will leave, and uh, I won't even go, and because uh, of EMS, I'm not there for EMS, and, and my fire chief tries to shoot me out for that, so I'm not EMS, I'm fire. EMS is for people that want to be EMS, I don't want to be EMS, so that's why they have EMS training up there. This, for the medics, I'm not a medic, so. Nor do I claim to be. Yes, is there times when firefighters have to step and take the role of a medic? Yes. But that's why we train during fire nights to take care of that shit, so. But, you know, I may just have to wait until um, Friday to get the game, guys. Um, because if it's important, if I have to be there tomorrow night, I gotta be there. And it's not much of an option for me. As much as I want to be at GameStop at 6 o'clock and wait until 11 to get the game and participate in the um, tournaments I got going on for World War II and different tournaments, then yes, I would love to be there and participate in that and try to win some extra cash and stuff like that and participate in that shit. But with that being said, I will most likely probably have to be at the department tomorrow night. I'll pay my game off, but I won't be able to pick it up until morning of Friday. I just have this gun. What the fuck? Oh, hell no. We're going to get a different gun. I just had this shotgun uh, five minutes ago. Why did they do that? They should not allow that. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, that's about to say. Now I can just sit here get another mystery box and just annihilate everything that comes through my way. Play little bastard. M1's even better. Let's go. Come on, boys. Come on. Three's a crowd. Let's go. No, two's a crowd. Three's a party. Let's do it. That's what they always say. Two's a crowd. Three's a party. Two's a pair. Three's a crowd. Jesus Christ. Look. Fucker. Oh dear. Ow. This ain't gonna go well. We need to open this. Come on. <laughs> oh shit. I have fucked myself in the ass here for this one. I have been forced to open up all doors just to stay alive. Just to stay alive. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of zombies. Oh no! <laughs> I am getting extremely lucky right now, guys. No joke about it, I'm getting extremely lucky. I'm not sure how. Oh, come on, buddy! Holy shit, I just got extremely like unfortunately all doors are now opened up. Um, yeah, we could just, you know, sit here and snipe. I don't care. We could also try getting our gun too. That works too, the combat shotgun will work very well. Alright, that's this. Thank you. 
I hear him all over the place. What is happening right now? How am I still alive? Because I got good fucking weapons. I guess I have to. That's the only reason why I'm still alive right now. This is insane, boys. Get intense. You get 500 kills with this gun. You get the BMD camo. So 500 kills with every gun. Reload the sniper. Sniping zombies like 1945. Is that what? That's what that one guy always said. I like to thank for reaching my goal year goal 40 subscribers this year. That is amazing. The year's not even up yet, and we've reached the goal of 40 subscribers. But if you log into Black Ops 3 right now, it's going to say. A message is gonna say last call pre order World War Two and it's gonna say you're gonna receive one thousand two hundred COD points. That's a little bit mysterious because there's been no talk about any supply drops from World War Two yet. So normally ninety percent of the time we you know use COD points more for is supply drops and stuff and crypto keys and everything else. We've always done that. Um but now all of a sudden we're getting COD points, so I'm just going to say right here. And um, three, two, boom, thunderbus. Three, two, boom, thunderbus. All right, that's me. Thunderbus. Thunderbus. Shotgun. Shotgun. After level 10, guys, it just keeps getting harder and harder to stay alive in this game. Because there's more massive amounts of zombies and they just keep coming in huge waves. Honestly, I don't know that anybody has ever... I'm... No! No! Not today, bitches! Not today! Not today! No! 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 <laughs> hit twice and did not go down. What? 90% of the time you usually go down if you hit twice. But it didn't even go blood red. I think that perk has helped me. Lifesaver perk there. Keeps me alive. Son of a bitch, that's not the kind of one. I'm out of everything besides the Thunderbust. I need to get a different gun here. It needs to be the right gun. Something like that. A very powerful gun and it needs to happen right now before I die. You know what? That shotgun's better than nothing. We're going to just run around like an idiot now because I'm not sure what to do after this part. Just keep reloaded. Make sure I keep reloaded. Run around circles if we have to to survive this. Thunderbust. Boom. Effectively use every weapon the right way. Just under bus. Ah! Clear ways off. I have to. That's all. That's all I need to do. Jesus Christ! Nade. Shotgun. 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 Oh! Too much. There are too many there. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do one more map and that's gonna be the theaters after that. Hey, I liked and what does it say? I. Hang on, random Rudy just sent me a message that says, Hey, I liked and I something to your channel which means I'm thinking subscribed 
You got good content, and I was wondering if you want a collab sometime, want to collaborate sometime, and if so, sub to me and add me to PSN RX XR. Random buddy, random Rudy, you got yourself a deal. If you actually subscribe to my channel right now, I'll make it my every effort after this video to do the same to yours. I'll find you down YouTube, and I'll subscribe and give you as much collateral or whatever you want to call it, um, as much support as you've given me. That's so awesome, buddy. You just took your time and did that. That's what it's all about right there, guys. You work with each other and help each other out on videos and stuff. That means I have officially re reached over my goal. I'm not 41 subscribers, if this is what I said true. Come here, sit down. Oh, uh. But, um, if that is so true, Random Rudy, then thank you for doing that, and I'll be sure after this video to follow Key up on YouTube and, uh, get your, um, name and subscribe to your channel too, man. So. <clears throat> like I said last night, guys, I hope you guys had a wonderful Halloween. I think, I hope it was safe for everybody. Unfortunately, for firemen last night in my county, it was not safe at all. It was probably one of the worst Halloween nights we could have. We had one house fire that lasted from 2.30 to, I think it was like 7.15 or so. And then a couple kids got hit because um, some retard wasn't paying attention to the road last night. And then at 3.45 this morning, um, there was another house fire um, near here. And it was a fully engulfed and they only had three firefighters on the scene at that point. So um, it was kind of like the worst possible night for us first responders. Um, one of the worst Halloween nights I've heard of around here so far. So, like I said, I hope the rest of you guys got to actually enjoy the Halloween night and a holiday night and was able to get lots of candy or have a fun time partying or something. Or just sitting around at home just doing whatever you want to do. I hope you guys enjoyed it and had a good time. Halloween's all about having fun, getting candy, spending time with your family, and celebrating a uh, end to the year. And uh, as we know it, 2017 is almost over with. With only one month left of the year, it's going to be weird because um, we know that the next year is coming and we don't you know, want this year to go away. But um, unfortunately, we cannot stop that. Hey, they think they can secretly team up on me. Oh, uh, this new zombies are gonna fuck with me for a while. I'm not gonna be able to do damn shit. I'm not gonna be able to do anything. You've legitimately got to shoot him in the head. I've watched the video. I've watched how that guy did. You cannot do it. He's tried shooting him in the body, and the only way you can kill him by hitting him in the body is if you have weapon damage upgrade to increase your weapon from perks and shit. So this is going to suck. I'm not going to lie. Until I get used to shooting zombies in the head, this is going to. I never shot him in the head, or I try never to do that. I usually, from Black Ops 3, just shoot him in the body and they eventually fall down. Alright, we can try shooting this guy then. See, I'm not, I can't hit the head half the time. They're moving too much. Alright, okay, got that one. Maybe with this double barrel shotgun they have in that game, I can take their head off, but. Send me on Mac guns. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. We can try it. Why not? Guys, start getting used to this shit. Headshot only. Okay. So it's really gonna test your accuracy by killing zombies. He's headshotted. What the hell? I never heard him say that before. It's good that you can throw sticky bombs on the zombies and blow them up, but you only have a certain amount of those. You see, you guys can tell I'm trying to hit the head, but it's hard to do that in Black Ops 3 because they're all slumped over moving around. So, these new ones, you've got different types of zombies. It's not all the same type. 
you got ones with no arms and they're on fire. And then you got ones that legitimately have um, uh, clubs attached to their arms for arms. There's a big weapon to mace, a spike to mace that they can swing around to get you with. And then you got the running ones. And then you got the big ones that are flamethrowers and the bosses that are armored and stuff. So there are different types of new zombies out there in this new one, which makes it, it's going to be fun and it's going to be scary at the same time to play it. Perfect time for the holidays. Um, and it's right after Halloween, so you kind of still got that little bit of a Halloween spirit left in you. It'll be a perfect game to play. And I hope for the next year to come, a Call of Duty World War II becomes a good game, a popular one, and one that's not disliked by players. I hope it's, you know, what everybody wanted. Everybody's been asking for World War II. Um, there's been people that have been messaged uh, Activision and asked for World War II Call of Duty, go back to World War II. And now that World War II is happening again, everybody that wanted the game to go back to World War II is now complaining about it and saying that they don't like it. Well, you should never ask for them to go back to World War II if you didn't expect to see World War II shit in it. That's the only thing I have against our players. They're like, oh my god, these guns are so old school. Well, you gotta kinda of figure that's what they had in World War II, people. They didn't have futuristic guns, they didn't have, you know, all these new assault rifles that we have today. They didn't have all that. They had M1 Grands, they had, you know, everything that they had in World War II, which I don't know all the guns they had in World War II, but they had the Thompson machine guns, they had M1 Grands, and I think a lot of people hate this new World War II Call of Duty because of the fact that it's boots on the ground, and you don't have any jetpack abilities. So you can't take over, uh, jump over our players when you want to kill them. Just to get, you know, just to get kills. Oh uh, shit! No, no, we are not doing that. <laughs> I am not going down on the fifth round here. Not happening. Reload, reload, reload! Come on. So I think a lot of people are dissing the new one because they did what they More said they were going to do, bring it back to World Redeemer. War II and have boots on the ground. And I think a lot of futuristic Call of Duty players kind of hate that shit. I don't know if you guys were born around the time that they had the original Call of Duty out for the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and Xbox, but I was. I was around to play it. It is a nice game. The original, very first Call of Duty ever came out was actually halfway decent. Very authentic as they could be at the time with the graphics they had. Um, way before the PlayStation 3, way before the PS4, right when the game console was starting to get somewhat graphical, it became a good era for Call of Duty, a good time for Call of Duty to happen. And now that they're going back to World War II, everybody is ticked off. That uh, it's all boots on the ground, not jumping out. What did you expect World War II is going to be like in Call of Duty? It would not make sense to be called Call of Duty World War II if we had World War II and a bunch of jetpacks. That is not at all what World War II was supposed to be like. And that's what they're going for in this game. They're supposed to make it look like D-Day, Normandy, World War II, all that shit. So, they're going for the most authentic version they can of World War or Call of Duty, and the most realistic version of it, and uh, I'm glad that they're going for that, the gameplay I played the beta, I'm going to die, how did I get myself cornered in here, okay, what did I say, they went for the most realistic version of Call of Duty, and, oh, I am down for the count, god damn it, Anyways, you know, I'm glad that they went for the realistic version and they made it as good looking as possible. And I cannot believe I came across a YouTuber that said Call of Duty World War II graphics look like they came out of Xbox 360. When he said that, my mind just went, what? It flipped. My mind just like, you got destroyed when he said that. I'm like, how could you ever think World War II graphics 
for the PlayStation 4 it looks like Xbox 360 graphics. Are you fucking kidding me? Is what I put replied in the comment section. I'm like, dude, you don't know what the hell you're talking about, obviously. Because they do not look like uh, Xbox 360 graphics. They look as, as it should look. Good, good looking, good graphics, very powerful looking graphics, realistic shit, not this fake futuristic jumping bullshit that they have now for Infinite Warfare and Black Ops 3. Don't get me wrong, guys. I prefer to have boots on the ground, Call of Duty, than jetpack Call of Duty. It's not Call of Duty when they take jetpacks or booster packs and add them to the game. How the hell can you call that a Call of Duty game? Call of Duty has always, I think always should be, boots on the ground. There is not, the only time it's changed is in Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and Infinite Warfare. That is the only time we've seen it change. Ever since then, all the other Call of Duty's before that have been boots on the ground. And that's what Call of Duty's about, having boots on the ground, working as a team, getting kills and stuff. So, this is my last game right here, guys. I want to make box. this a good one. Let's enjoy it. And I'll talk about World War II before I get banned from Activision here. Because they are hammering down on that shit. So, um, I'm actually surprised my YouTube account hasn't already been taken off of YouTube. So, I'm thankful that it hasn't happened yet. But, I'm pretty sure if I keep releasing any more information on World War II, they'll see that I am... Talking about way too much and know a little bit too much about the game and it'll ban me. So let's get into Black Ops 3. Let's have a good time. Like I said, we are now 12 hours away from the release almost. We were 14 hours when I started. I counted down, counted all the way until the release time for World War 2. So at midnight to around 11 o'clock tomorrow night. We will be, um, we will be having the launch of World War II happening for pre-order people and people that want to get the game a day early. Go in and get it. Alright, so, HR Gaming TV, hey dude, I just went across your channel and they are wonderful. Maybe you can, the hell? Maybe you can show some love and support. Yeah, you, both of you guys have been really nice on this live chat, so I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to both of your channels. And if you've done the same thing, same thing you said that you've done the channel today, and now I should have 42 subscribers, and that will be just a blessing to have happen right now, gaining two new subscribers tonight. And um, that will mean my channel is continuing to grow, and that makes me continue to live stream new content, new games every time I get a new game. Now this pre-order I'm getting right now, World War II is going to have to be it for this year, guys. I cannot afford to be getting a pre-order game every time they come out with a new game. So, for it, this right now, for pre-order-wise, World War II is going to, is going to be the only game I'll be pre-ordering this year, and I probably won't re pre-order another game until summertime. Um, but. If you're wondering if I'm going to be getting Star Wars Battlefront 2, we will see. Um, I've got to see what other people think of it first before I personally buy it myself. It looks to be a great game. Star Wars Battlefront 2 does. It looks like it has a promising storyline. I'm not going to lie. The heroes look good. And they included all areas of Star Wars like the, like the original Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the PC was. That's kind of cool. So... They're kind of following along with the original Star Wars Battlefront 2, way back on the PlayStation 2. So, I may be somewhat slightly interested in buying it. We'll see. I think the first one was as good as ever. I don't think we need to be seeing the second one quite yet this early. But they have released all four DLC maps, expansion maps for Star Wars Battlefront 1. And I cannot see them doing any more with Battlefront 1 now that Battlefront 2 is out. So... But that does not mean I'm not going to buy Star Wars Battlefront 2 in good time, I will. But I will 
hang off on a second to see what the game ratings are after a couple months of it being out. If it's saying it's got good gameplay and it's still popular and people still like it, by summertime I'll get the game and we'll start playing Star Wars Battlefront 2. But my main focus on uh, game stars, you know, pre-orders is going to be World War 2 and I'm going to play the shit out of World War 2. I'll probably try to be doing more focusing on World War 2 and Battlefield 1 than anything else right now, so... I recently reacquired Battlefield 1, I've been live streaming as you guys may know already, and they've done some awesome changes, they included some new weapons to Battlefield 1, they've fixed some problems, they've added some two DLCs so far since the game came out, and it's only been out for a year, and it's an incredibly good game. I've only had the privilege of playing it for three months, and uh, when it was out, and um, that's that, so... That being said, I've acquired it again, and I'm not planning on getting rid of it anytime soon or ever for a fact. Um, as long as it continues to have good vibes, I get good vibes off that game. And I continue to reach the DLC for it. And, you know, I have friends that play it, will always. And then the servers remain up for the longest time. And what's shocking is, I have Battlefield 4, and I tuned in the other day, and the servers are still going on. They still got massive amounts of players playing Battlefield 4, which is old because it was made back in 2013. See, what? Oh, wait, revive. I didn't even see him. You think you got a revive going on here? Um, but, you know, so Battlefield 4 is still happening, guys. I'm actually shocked that Battlefield 4 is still up and running for the PlayStation 4. Maybe not for PlayStation 3. I don't know if they have servers up for the PlayStation 3 anymore for Battlefield 4, but um, it would be interesting to see if they do. Um, but as of me, I don't own a PlayStation 3 anymore, I own a PlayStation 4. Um, so, we will be remain playing on PlayStation 4 until my PlayStation 4 breaks down. Uh, and then we'll see about getting our console if it's out. So, so they're being really particular on game consoles these days and how long they keep them out. So we're probably in our last couple rounds here for tonight. We're on our, we are on, in fact, on our last game of the night for live streaming for Black Ops 3. So, like I said, if it's not ne absolutely necessary for me to be there tomorrow night. I will take the time off and head to GameStop and uh, we will, I will get the game early, but if I absolutely have to be there tomorrow night for training, like I said, it's probably EMS night because last, last Thursday we did fire and we, each and every Thursday we switch it out, one, one Thursday is fire training and the other is EMS training, so if I'm correct, we're doing EMS training tonight. And, um, if that, uh, yeah, tomorrow, just, just tomorrow night. And if that's the case, I'm just going to ask for the day off. Because it's not important for me to be here for EMS training. Um, that's not my, that's not the reason why I'm there. And, uh, I don't think I should have to be there for EMS training, but that's just me. I don't know if my fire chief has a different opinion on that one or not. But we will see. So I'm gonna ask my buddy firefighter buddies, uh, one of my firefighter buddies I keep contact with, if it's absolutely necessary for me to be there tomorrow. If it's going to go against my record if I'm not there tomorrow to be for training. If I don't have to be there, guys, I will buy World War II tomorrow night and I'll participate in the. Uh, uh, tournament they have and stuff like that, but again, like I said, if I am not going to be there, then if I can't be at the tournament, then I'll be at the fire station. You can go ahead and have some of that, Dad. Tacos? You sure? It's really... I'm gonna eat the rest of it in a little while. I made some awesome mean looking tacos tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It was a Mexicano night. Get off of me, swine! This is not good. 
my controller is messed up. No! Oh, he got me. Yeah, my control battery is officially dying. I have to charge it. Thank you for watching, guys. And there is a strong possibility I might be heading over to GameStop tomorrow night and game my game. Like I said, if I don't have to be at the station tomorrow night, and it is indeed EMS night, I will go ahead and just skip out on this train because it's not important for me to be in the EMS. I'm not signed on to be in the EMS. There's just for the paramedics because the fire has nothing to do with paramedics. Paramedics do their actual own thing in the fire situations if we need them. So that is for fire and EMS. If you want to be both, then you can do both classes. But I'm strictly fire and I don't want to be a part of any EMS ordeal up at the station. So, um, if I don't have to be there, I'll be going standing in line for my copy of pre-ordering World War II. So, and I should, if that's the case, I should have the game fully downloaded by the early hours of Friday morning. It will take a couple hours, I know that for a fact, because the game is supposed to be a 65 gigabyte game. And with it being a 65 gigabyte game, 75 gigabyte game, it will take a couple of hours. I know that I'll handle it in the morning. Um, but uh, with me knowing that it's going to be a big game, means it's going to take a few hours to download, if not four or five. So if I do happen to get the game before um, Friday, I will be downloading it tomorrow night and getting it downloaded on my console so that we can have as early access as possible to the game and get it up on YouTube first thing. So, that is my goal. I don't know if it's going to work like that. I don't know if it's going to happen tomorrow night. It may not, we may not be able to play it until Saturday, but that's okay because I'll have the game either way. And I'll be happy having the game and playing with my dad, playing zombies with my dad. We're going to have one hell of a time with World War II. Especially when trying to survive the first three rounds. But we're going to also have fun. My father and I have been waiting for this to happen for a while. We've been waiting. We've been watching every trailer they've had for World War II Zombies. I've been keeping up to date so when there is a new trailer I can show my dad. And he's about as psyched as I am and see how good looking they are and how realistic they are. So... Hopefully, maybe tomorrow or Friday morning we can kick it off and play a little bit offhand before we play online, so. That's going to be it for Black Ops 3 tonight, guys. I may do another video. I'm going to let my both uh, controllers charge for the PS4. And Dad and I are going to kick it off in Zombies and on um, Black Ops 3. And then we will maybe doing be doing Friday early morning around 4 or 5 o'clock. We will be doing some zombie gameplay for you. We don't know yet. But um I will have to ask like I said my firefighter buddy Zane if we if I had to be up there. If I absolutely have to be up at the station. If he says no, I'll ask Mike tomorrow to my lieutenant if it's necessary for me to be up there tomorrow. If not, then I will be at GameStop in line at six o'clock getting my number for the game and participating in the tournaments they're having for the game itself. So, peace out, guys. If I do another live stream tonight, it will probably be Battlefield 1. I got things I want to do in that game and show off and stuff like that. So, tune in in four hours or so. Maybe not in four, maybe three hours. It's already 10 o'clock at night. Tune in, and we will uh, kick it off again for another gameplay. Maybe talk about World War II just a tad bit more. I don't want to talk about too much Due to the fact that Activision, until the day of relaunch, Activision is going through people's YouTube channels. YouTube has given permission to Activision to go through channels and permanently ban them from the multiplayer online. And I promise you guys, I do not want that to happen to me. So, if I say anything about World War II, it's going to be very, very discreet and very short. As of, I don't want to get banned from playing multiplayer before I get a second chance of playing multiplayer. I haven't even played it yet, and the only time I played it is probably beta. That doesn't really count. But I haven't even really touched the game at all. And if they ban me 
right away there's no point behind the game at all and I would have wasted 70 bucks for nothing legitly so I'm not going to talk much more about it but if you do have a small question for me I will do my best on answering it without giving away too much information about World War II the multiplayer campaign or zombies so I do have a video to show off and this is not my video it's not my right to claim this video is mine but if you go down my channel description right now look all the way and read through it there's a guy named of E3 Cheviet he has a what appears to be an authentic video of World War II zombies if you cannot wait until launch in 13 12 hours for the launch of the game and you just can't take it anymore, you can't torture yourself anymore in waiting, then go ahead, go down to my channel description, read it, and type it in. And the video is 27 minutes long, it has a picture of a German Nazi zombie, and with it showing its teeth and everything. And, um, and it's 27 minutes long, so it's the only video of its kind out on YouTube right now, showing off the new zombies for World War II, so... Like I said, that's just for you to do on your own if you cannot wait. I am not the owner of that video. I just know I copied the guy's name, wrote it down, and put it on my channel description for you guys to go check it out. Uh, I do not claim any rights to that video. That's all on him. So Activision can't ban me from World War II for doing that. So there is nothing on my channel that will give away World War II information besides what we talked about. That's it. And I haven't really even spoiled anything for anybody, so. But, thank you for watching. You guys have a good night. And I will see you maybe possibly playing World War II tomorrow. It's a strong possibility of playing it tomorrow. It depends on how long it, take down, it takes to download. And depending on if I have to be at the fire station tomorrow night. So there is a strong and there is a not strong possibility. About a 50-50 chance of me getting in the game tomorrow and downloading it. So, that being said, peace out guys. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. We will be doing a 3 hour live stream Friday if nothing else. On my uh, PS4 for World War 2. Um, but, if you, like I said, if I get a chance tomorrow where I don't have to be at the station... Then I will go and wait patiently for the game and participate in the tournaments for World War II tomorrow. So, but I, if that's the case, I don't have to be there. I will be arriving at GameStop 5:30 because I know if I don't arrive at 5:30 at GameStop, they're gonna have, huh? There will be a line of people. Waiting at the doors of GameStop to get in, get their number, and play the game, and have the tournament and stuff. So, that being said, I'm off. I'll talk to you guys later. Um, and, uh, peace out.